The goal of the Department of the Environment is to create a healthy environment for all San Franciscans. So a friend of mine uh, told me about this project that the Department of the Environment was putting out, raising awareness for people that come into the Bayview neighborhood in San Francisco and dump oil and leave oil in the neighborhood. It's unsightly, but it also becomes a real problem when those substances are toxic. All of our work on toxics reduction obviously has a huge impact on the Bay and a huge right. impact on water. For years, the Department of the Environment for San Francisco has run an environmental justice program. So we got a grant in from Cal Recycles to do a mural. The Bayview Upper House is the premier arts organization in Bayview. This project that we're working on with Cameron and the Opera House, that's one of our partnerships. And so when there's something like this mural project where we can hire a muralist, that's already really great. And if we can combine that with an important message, that's even better. So you can just use art to signify what the pollution is doing to our community. We get to paint this 100 foot by 20 foot tall wall just to show people visually what is happening when you're leaving oil in this neighborhood or dumping it down the drain. Even illiterate people could get a view of art and know what's going on. All this illegal oil dumps just adding on to the pollution that the city already has. The same thing happens with the residual stuff that people would have from painting their house or something just you know, kind of in a pile, like, oh, here's a good place, let me dump it here. The city has to expend significant resources to go around and scout for these dumping spots, and it's just a huge expense that could be avoided. We have been doing a lot of work on used oil outreach, working with do-it-yourselfers who are changing their oil, trying to get the message out to them. I went around to, like, all the local businesses up and down 3rd Street and talked to them about how they feel about what's happening and what would you like to see go into this mural. And so not only is this mural raising awareness, but it has a lot of community input. That's what we're trying to build a sense of community that includes everybody who's here. One of the things we did in the beginning was we ran workshops and these workshops were to teenagers and getting them interested in art. I mean, for us, the children are the future. Anything we can give them makes a huge difference in their lives. We came down here and we got to experience spray painting. It's just put a lot on my mind, got me thinking that art is really cool because you can express yourself through this. The word hope signifies the potential this neighborhood has and why people might actually feel safe coming to. If we all collaborate and work together, I think we can help this neighborhood be successful. And the Opera House has just played a really encouraging and important role in making the community better. The youth have invested in it and have learned something as a result of working on the mural. We try to involve them in the arts and give them something to develop a passion about and that's why we always involve the kids in professional arts projects as well. We had to cover this whole wall with white primer and it took a lot of effort and a few breaks but other than that it was pretty cool. Then we also taught on the subject that we're trying to raise awareness about proper disposal of oil. It can't make anyone feel good, frankly, to live in a place where the rest of the city sees it as a dumping ground. The dumping of hazardous waste is a big problem, especially in the Bayview-Hunters Point neighborhood. Approximately 50% of the hazardous waste that is abandoned in the city is abandoned in that neighborhood. I mean, I often just imagine like if I were a kid living there and see just oil tens and whatever else on my street corner, I think it would make a person feel really, really bad. I started interviewing and these people didn't know each other. They all had the same story with a little bit of variety. Like some of them would say that, hey, when I was a kid, I would go fishing in the bay and I remember seeing trucks come in and dump stuff or uh, people even right next to their house, they would see trucks come in and unload oil drums and leave them on the corners. I also interviewed people where they literally saw people taking uh, like milk jugs full of old oil and, and dumping it down drains or just setting it on corners and leaving it. I don't know why people think that they could do that in the Bayview and it's not fair to the people that live here. We're hoping that through this mural we at least start a dialogue and that's been evident, like everybody's discussing it out front as I'm painting. The shark totally changes the game. I didn't have one originally, and then everybody out on the street, like, you gonna put a shark in there? I'm so glad I did. The 
it's so much more fierce. So uh, we hope that it makes them know that there's all these creatures under there and don't kill them by dumping unnecessary grease or oils. We're hoping that with the right information, people will realize how easy it is to go and drop your stuff off at a drop-off center. They can take their used oil to three of our sites in the Bayview Hunters Point neighborhood, and those collection sites are required to accept that oil at no cost to the customer. And they can also find other locations all over the city on our website at sfenvironment.org. We also want to remind people that if you see anyone dumping motor oil or any other abandoned waste, you should make a phone call to 311 to make sure that it gets reported. That's really the big vision. Bayview is toxics free. practice that you guys can practice writing you know and all that is is like I'm not turning the can a lot of the movement is in my shoulder so you know that's how you're, I'm getting it so clean the second you turn the can like a lot of people do that see how it flares out or if your can sideways it's faded on one side so if you want it super clean you're focusing on not angling